Welcome everyone, this is Everyone Loves Pirates. And I'm gonna admit a lot of weird stuff kinda happened off camera. I came to some epiphanies about what I was doing and I've kind of changed some stuff around. But to start out with, I just wanna show you, I did finish the refinery. I think it looks magnificent. It is hooked up via this collector into the assembler. And it has been running a bit, so it actually has already chewed through all the ore that was in there. And we have all this nice material here. Uh, so really all that we need to do to send it to the refinery, or to the assembler, excuse me, um, always. And actually we have two connectors here. Um, there's one on the bottom of this. I'm not really sure how to figure out which connector is which easily. So the way I'm going to do it is go like that. So now it's incomplete. Go here, go back to control panel, so it's that one. So we want this one. So this is the refinery. Refinery, that's right, connector. This will be the assembler connector. Okay. So we're going to have this one collect everything into the connector from the refinery and throw it out. Throw it up. And you can see it right there. Everything's... Going out there, it's getting collected in here, going down into here. So we see it's already into the assembler. Uh, let's see, there's some stuff here in this small cargo container too. Let's move that up. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so now we can actually make stuff in our assembler. Uh, I know there's a few things we're going to definitely need. Always low on bulletproof glass. We have tons of silicon. Um, displays are always kind of tough to come by. Let's grab a few of those. I'm definitely going to need lots of steel plates. Uh, I got a way to deal with that, but for now, uh, let's do that. And so, we want to be able to make medical components. And that requires silver and nickel. Apparently, we have neither. I know we didn't have the nickel, but apparently, we don't have silver either. Um, so, I can tell other things that require silver and nickel are going to be red as well. Motors, we knew we can get the nickel from, but it's going to take a lot of it. And reactors, apparently we can get silver from, the only thing. And actually we have a lot of reactors around, reactor components that we can use. And it's only, um, you get half si silver ingot from each. So we can do that, we can break uh, that, those two down, or especially that. And we'll work on breaking that down. Uh, but we'll need to get more motors. We're getting really close to being self-sufficient, though. Yeah, I see that private sale out there. I'm not going to bore you guys by going and capturing another private sale, especially when it's that far away. So this is nice. We got this going on. Now, the other thing that I've been working on... Hey, that looks different, huh? That's our mining carriage. I've repurposed it. It actually looks quite menacing. Uh, into a grinder, a grinding machine. And the reason why I did that is because we have this ship here. This was the ship I was working on. And I was trying all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, wasting a lot of time doing this and uh, doing this in survival instead of creative. And learned a lot of stuff because, man, I really haven't played this in a while. And some things have changed and some things have stayed the same as they do. Um, and you probably don't want me just moving the camera around a ton either. But, um, you know, I had this idea, this concept. Oh, maybe I could have this shield in front. Because the issue is... With the cockpit there, if you don't move around a lot, you're gonna it's gonna aim right at the cockpit, either the cockpit or you. But since you're in the cockpit, and really all it takes is one shot, and that cockpit was gone. Um, and this thing was not very maneuverable, despite the huge engines. Just all this this heavy armor just makes it so heavy and hard to move. Um, and it just shoots through the heavy armor so quickly because there's these little tiny blocks and they don't require much. All it needs is these pinpoint shots. I was kind of kamikazing in and it's just boom, boom. And I was, you know, blew out the cockpit and that was all she wrote. So I want to get rid of this. So I repurposed this into a grinder and I need to make, I believe the way to do this is with large ship for a few reasons. Um, come on, where's my access? There it is. Let's get back in here. So this is just going to float away if I run into it now with the grinder. Uh, it's on the exact opposite side. Okay. So I am going to need to come in here. Don't want to get burned up by my engine. Put a little bit of the uranium back in here. 
Um, not sure it really matters which one. I mean, I actually have quite a bit of uranium sitting around, but I don't want to just waste it. That's more than enough. Actually, we can get to the control panel from here. Um, all the thrusters should be on. Gyroscopes are on. Yeah. So now this should stay in place as I uh, mess with it. But yeah, a large ship is going to allow us to do a couple things. One, each block is going to be made out of a lot more steel plates. So it's going to be harder to get through a single steel block, which is all it had to do before. Uh, the other thing is we can actually put our cockpit maybe further back and protect it with windows. Why not? Bulletproof glass. That's a lot of bulletproof glass to get through. Um, and these only work on large ships or stations. So that's another good reason to use a large ship. Uh, it's going to require a lot of materials. We're going to need a large reactor or a bunch of small reactors. But I think we're going to need a large reactor and probably you know quite a few large thrusters. Luckily, we do have some... Uh, wrong button. Let's get out of that. I do have this other business shipment that I stole, procured, and it's got a big you know, large reactor here, so all we have to do is take that apart, and we know we have all the components we need to build it. Oh, you got to get it so close. And I can take this whole thing apart with my grinder as well. So, mining carriage slash grinder now. Uh, so, yeah, let's, um, this is going to be a pretty quick episode, I bet. But I don't want to do a ton of grinding on camera. I think that's going to be boring for you guys. But I want you to see the new direction. Um, we're getting close to self-sustainability. We're getting close to getting a medical room up so that we can stay alive. Uh, or that we can die. One, we'll be able to heal our health if you look at the bottom left. But we'll also um, we'll be able to be more suicidal knowing we have a clone behind. I think that'll be more fun. Instead of spawning in some new ship somewhere, which I just will not allow. So that left me basically left me restarting every time I died. Not restarting completely, but reloading. So yeah, I can push this thing. It should stop. Let's start going at it. So this is a lot quicker than doing it by hand. It's still not very quick. It's still going to take a while. Those are heavy armor blocks. Oops. Should probably just turn the grinders on. Let's do that. Grinders. I mean, technically, we do it the other way. We can jump in the other ship and drive it into this. That'd be an interesting concept. Those bottom ones aren't really hitting anything yet, but they will. Oh, it takes those thrusters apart really quick. It's all these heavy armor blocks. That's the problem. And we can look in our inventory for the ship. And it's adding stuff in there. Grinders are grinding stuff, and they're automatically being conveyed in there, which is nice. You know, pull or pond. So, I think that was worth it. I kind of like having this grinder, because we're going to be stealing a lot of ships, right? Um, so this needs to be done. We're going to need some way to grind stuff very quickly. Right. So, yeah, we're just going to be at 10 minutes. So, a quick episode. I apologize. There hasn't been a whole lot out there. I haven't got a whole lot of episodes out there because I've been messing around a lot off camera. But I think we're getting to a good place. So, we'll have a probably significantly long building episode. I may... I may go steal that mining carriage up there. Throw welders on the front of it have a mining grinder and a mining carriage or a mining welder
I think that's not a bad idea. Grind off the front and make it just like this. Have the two where they can kind of dock together with the collector and a, um, oh, whatever you call it, the shooter outer thing. I'm pretty tired. Uh, <laughs> and kind of just put them close to each other and one can take stuff apart and send it to the other one to weld stuff. I like it. Okay, that's the plan. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, it makes it fun for me. I love the comments. And uh, if you do like what you see, you think others might like it, give it a like. It'll show up in the search results better. And that's about it. See you next episode, guys. Thanks.